The United States has announced $125 million in military aid to Ukraine days after the Ukrainian army launched large-scale attack on Russia's Kursk region. The military aid that includes Stinger missiles and anti-armor systems, was announced on Friday, three days after Ukraine's largest attack on Russian soil since the start of the war in February 2022. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken released a statement explaining the contents and purpose of the military aid package. This $125 million package of support, provided under presidential drawdown authority, includes air defense interceptors, munitions for rocket systems and artillery, multi-mission radars and anti-tank weapons that will help Ukraine protect its troops, its people and its cities from Russian attacks and reinforce its capabilities across the front lines. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said while explaining the content and purpose of military aid. In his statement, Blinken reaffirmed United States support of Ukraine, stressing that Washington will deploy this new assistance as quickly as possible to bolster Ukraine's defense of its territory and its people. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky thanked Biden and the U.S. for the aid package. We appreciate the United States' support from the very first days of Russia's full-scale invasion, which has already allowed us to save many lives together," he wrote in a post on X social media platform. The package will be the tenth sent to Ukraine since U.S. President Joe Biden signed the Ukraine Security Supplemental Appropriations Act in April. A new rebellion in the Russian Federation is possible, but it requires a leader on the ground. One of the candidates for this role is currently in Ukraine. The head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, in an interview with Forbes, stated that Ukraine knew about the preparation of the Wagner Group mutiny six months in advance. Unfortunately, we are not seeing such impulses now. If we are talking about conditional rebellions of ethnic groups, for this we need a leader on the spot. There is a good leader, he is with us, but he is gaining opportunities. Then we can talk about something. Of course, nothing ever happens. The Wagner rebellion was prepared very early on, the chief Ukrainian intelligence officer noted. According to him, the head of the Wagner group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, was a complex personality, an ultra-patriot, and Alexander Lukashenko played on his patriotic feelings. He was preparing to enter the Kremlin. Mentally, he was going to actually save Russia. But they explained to him... If you enter, no one here will be able to cheat you. But by doing so, you will not immediately save Russia, but will tear it apart. After all, at the same time, you will be in the Kremlin and the nominal leadership of the state will be somewhere else. Budanov explained, recall on the night of June the 24th, 2023, the head of the Wagner, Yevgeny Prigozhin, marched on Moscow to overthrow Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu. The Wagnerites did not reach the Russian capital, but stopped 200 kilometers from the Russian capital. Prigozhin went to negotiate with Alexander Lukashenko, who, at Putin's request, assumed the role of mediator in the conflict. As a result, Prigozhin fled to Belarus, having received a guarantee of safety for his life. On August the 23rd, the plane of the leader of the Wagner PMC, Yevgeny Prigozhin, crashed in the Tver region of Russia. No one survived.